let's keep rolling. We got 72% ahead of us, right? We got to go. There's some, uh, there's some things that, that we need to know about what product is coming. We've been teased. We have seen a little bit here and there. We've been, you know, <laughs> all, all, kinds of, uh, all kinds of different things in different places. But we've asked none other than our, 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 our uh, chief science officer and the person that is absolutely one of the most beloved people in the universe of Amari and, and well-deserved because he gives and gives and gives of himself um, selfishly. And it is just greatly appreciated. Everybody will recognize this face. Dr. Sean Talbot is here with the Amari Edge. Welcome, Dr. Sean, and take it away. Hey, buddy, can you hear me okay? I can, but you're gonna have you're gonna have to do a heck of a job to be able to get above and beyond what Kent just delivered. I know, I know. And he was talking about finance for God's sakes. I mean, cheapers, sure. creepers, you can make that stuff sound interesting. All right. Goodness gracious. Well, hey everybody, it's it's uh it's it's good to see you. And I say good because last year when we did this in January, we were all together in Southern California, right? So I was able to run on the beach in the morning. We were able to have lunch out in the nice California sunshine. Right now I'm looking out at a blowing snowstorm here in Salt Lake City in my backyard. And so anyway, but at least we get together, we get to get together virtually. You know, I think people are going a little bit crazy with uh all the shutdowns and the, you know, the closures and stuff like that. I even went a little bit crazy. You know, I, sh I shaved off my beard, right? I tried, I tried to do a bunch of crazy hairdos during this pandemic and none of them, none of them took. So that's as, that's as, that's as good as you could get. But at least I'm, at least I'm a little more aerodynamic now for all my triathlons. So I've got about, I've got about 25, 30 minutes to, to, to run you guys through, a, uh, you know, a few things that I think are exciting. So what I want to do is I want to give you guys sort of a lay of the land, like a, like a state of the union, if you will, about what mental wellness looks like in the world. Because after all, Amari, we are the mental wellness company. And spoiler alert, the state of mental wellness is not very good in the world. And I'm going to give you some statistics to back that up. Uh, but I also want to talk about moving on from there and, and discussing a little bit about what's next. You know, what can we do as individuals? What can we do as a company? What can we do for, on this mission of improving that situation? So I'm going to talk a little bit about what some of the big trends are telling us are going to be um, are going to be in movement over this year, uh, going into 2021. And then finally, I'm going to I'm going to end with why why Amari? You know why why is this the place to be? I'm going to talk a little bit about our, our solid foundation, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our future in terms of what our pipeline looks like. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek about one of our products that I think is going to be a real game changer in a in a in a in a lot of different ways. So here we go. Let me see if I can get here to my slides and figure out where my cursor is. All right, so when we, when we talk about this kind of stuff and we look at you know, the state of where we are right now, we can look at statistics and we can look at the, at the end of the year, every one of the big health organizations around the country, whether it's Mental Health America or it's Gallup or it's the Centers for Disease Control or it's the World Health Organization or it's the American Psychological Association, they all do sort of a year year end roundup. And at the end of 2020, going into 2021, you could expect, it would be logical to realize that the state of mental wellness was not particularly good, right? We know it was bad pre-pandemic, but it was logical to think that it would get even worse during the pandemic. And that's exactly what happened. So if you look at the data from the Mental Health America uh, uh, Association, I, you know, I look at, I, I use their statistics because this is a group of people where they're, they're looking at almost 2 million people. You can see here about a million and a half people who took a mental health screening on the MHA website. These are very well validated screening tools, but this isn't a population of people that was already feeling bad, right? They already knew that there was an issue that they were, that they were facing. They were stressed out. They were burned out. They were depressed. They were anxious. And so they were actively looking for solutions. And when you look at that, you can see that there were 70% of those people were citing loneliness and isolation and the fact that they, that they were missing that social connection. So millions and millions of people are, are experiencing these problems and actively looking for solutions. When you look at some of the things that are driving that, Obviously, the coronavirus is going to be a piece of that. Politics and all everything that was going on the last couple of years is driving some of that. But look at this one. 
financial problems, almost 24%, almost a quarter of people who were having these problems were it was due to finances. Uh, um, uh, social disconnection, loneliness, and isolation, almost three quarters of the people. So you can see that there are a lot of things that a lot of people are experiencing that we here at Amari actually have solutions for. When you look at the age groups that this is happening to, it's not just old guys like me, it really is across every single age group that are experiencing significant problems with their mood, with their stress levels, with their anxiety patterns. And so, you know, I share all of this because it shows us that the state of mental wellness is not particularly good out there. It's even not particularly good when you're asking people who feel okay. People who don't really identify themselves as having a problem. What you're going to see here are data from Gallup, you know, one of the biggest survey organizations in the entire world. And they've been able to show over, the, or, over their year-end statistics that, uh, that our health ratings, our mental health ratings are sinking to a new low. And so when you look at those statistics, you see things like this. Every year since 2001, Gallup has asked Americans to, to, to rate their own well-being. And they rate it really simply. They ask people, is your mental well-being excellent? Is it good? Is it fair? Or is it poor, right? Really, really good to, to, to ask these questions. And in most of these people, these are people who are saying, yeah, I'm fine. You know, everything's okay. You know, and we joke about that at Amari because that's not how people are supposed to be. We're not supposed to be fine. We're supposed to be excellent. We're supposed to be vibrant. We're supposed to be energetic. We're supposed to be, you know, rare and a go and motivated and, and, and vigorous. You know, I talk about psychological vigor all the time, but over the years, all the way from 2001 until now. So over the course of two decades, the, the ratings for people to be in the top two tiers, excellent and good have been in the 80%, 80 to 90%, 81 to 89% until this year, and it dropped to 76%. That is a massive, massive, astonishing amount of drop in one year's time. When you look at this, Americans' latest assessment of mental health is worse now than it has ever been in the last two decades. And so people are clearly not feeling that they want to feel, right? People don't necessarily know that there is a solution like what we offer here at Amare because we're, we're still getting out of the gates. When you look at it graphically, you can look at the combination of excellent and good up here and it's going along, do, 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 do about the same every single year until boom, it drops off the clip cliff. You can look here at the people who rate themselves as excellent, which is less than half of the population. It's going, it's going, it's going, and it drops off the cliff. And so I, I, I start with that. I share that to really put an exclamation point on this concept that it's everybody pretty much that we encounter on a daily basis that can use what we're offering. What we have on the platter is something that virtually every single person can resonate with. Whether they want to go from feeling not great to feeling normal again, whether they want to go from feeling okay to feeling amazing, or they want to go from feeling amazing to feeling more amazing and getting that competitive edge over their competition. That's where we're going into 2021. And one of the really, really cool things about where we find ourselves in it from a historical context is that if there's a if there's a silver lining about what we've gone through over this last year of the COVID-19 pandemic is that mental well-being has come front and center. You cannot pick up a piece of media these days without seeing that. You, you, can't, you can't open up anything without seeing some report about mental health. And that's what the next big thing is. And do, don't just take my word for it as a scientist and as somebody who studied this, this area of, of, of health for the last 20 years. Take it from the people who analyze trends. Look at what the big trends are out there. Look at what the big, big media outlets are saying. So this is something Something that I pulled from Outside Magazine last month, predicting what is going to be the next big health trend going forward. And I won't read this whole, I won't read all these, you know, this whole paragraph to you. You can just scan through it yourself. But what it's talking about is the fact that people are going to be talking about mental health in much more open ways, whether it's from an athletic perspective, whether it's from a 
you know, get your get your edge perspective. It really is the thing that people are talking about. So I pulled this from Outside Magazine, but the same sort of stories are being carried in women's health and men's health and all manner of, of sort of health wellness oriented magazines, but you're not just seeing it there. You're seeing stories come out in Forbes and Wall Street Journal, business outlets, because what, 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 what is being realized is that if you don't have good mental health, your productivity is lower, your creativity is lower, your ability to solve problems on a, on a business basis are lower. And, and what we're seeing is that th this, this really cool, um, um, coming together of the of the of the business side and the health side, and that we're seeing the merge in some ways that are really going to be important for what we're doing here at Amari. So let me go to this next slide. Um, what I'm going to share with you. What I'm going to share with you now, if I can go to this next slide, is some data from the Global Mental Wellness. Um, Institute. I went one slide too far. Let me see if I can go back. Okay. So the GWI. Global Wellness Institute um, is is a uh, is a uh, has been around for I don't know fifty years or so. Um, they are focused on the wellness industry, and so for a long time, the wellness industry was spas and retreats and you know uh, um, you know a, a beauty and 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 you know skin peels and you know that kind of stuff. But where it's shifting, and we know this from a big report that they released last year mental wellness is the biggest trend in all of wellness. It's a multi, multi hundred billion dollar category, nearly a trillion dollars when you add in all the different components. And when you look at th this, this trends report that they put out at the very, very end of last year, what you're seeing is some, they, they identified nine very prominent trends that are going to dominate in 2021. And when we look at what those trends are, I pulled out three of them, three of those nine, because I think that they're really relevant to what we're doing here at Amari. The first one is Hollywell. The fact that a lot of celebrities are jumping into wellness, but specifically they're jumping into mental wellness. You're seeing actors, you're seeing uh, you're seeing uh, uh, elite level athletes, you're seeing celebrities of all stripe, not just be more open about their own struggles with stress and anxiety and things like that, but you're seeing them vote with their dollars. You're seeing them become investors. You're seeing them become um, uh, founders of wellness oriented companies. Some of those are around weight loss. Some of those are around beauty, but a lot of them are around stress and sleep and, 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 and being more, more mentally fit and physically fit. And the reason this is important is because this shows us the mainstreaming of our story. It's not just Amari that's talking about it. We might have been the first ones talking about it. We might be the leaders in this space in terms of bringing all of these different pieces together under one umbrella. But the more that we see people talking about it on these big, big celebrity platforms, the more people are going to say, that sounds pretty good. I better look and see what some of those solutions are. And those roads lead to Amari because of what we've already established in terms of our foundation. When we look at this next trend, which is immune health, this is something we've been talking about since the very beginning, and especially talking about this last year, the fact that the, your immune system is a big part of that axis when we talk about the gut-brain axis. We've been talking about using the immune system not just to shield us from viruses and bacteria and you know, keep us from getting sick. We've been talking about the immune system as a communication organ to help us feel better. We have data in that particular area, which now people have woken up to the idea of their immune system is not just something that protects them, but something that can actually help them feel better on a day to day basis. So the years gone past are, are, are never coming back where people only thought about their immune system during cold and flu season. Now people are going to be thinking about their immune system every single day as something that can help them feel better around these kinds of ideas around immunostabilization, immunobalance. It's related to metabolic health. It's related to your microbiome. It's related to your ability to customize your nutrition regimen. These are all things that Amari has already dialed in over the last couple of years. And this is being identified as a big trend that we've been doing since the beginning. And then this last one, and you might be surprised by this last, last of the trends that I picked out, 
money out loud, that financial wellness is finally finding its voice. This has been one of the things that has always been sort of hush hush. Sex, politics, and money. Those are the things that you don't talk about in polite conversation. And what we're realizing now is that these are the things that we need to talk about. Um, We've been talking about it a lot. The fact that financial wellness is a huge part of overall mental wellness. In fact, finances, you know, making ends meet, having enough money in the bank, uh, you know, all, all the stuff around money, those are the things that cause the most psychological stress for the most people. It's the last thing we think about when we go to bed. It's often the first thing we think about when we wake up in the morning. It's always there. It's by, by definition, that is a chronic stress. And now we're seeing just like what we have done, we've broken the ice to get people to start talking about mental wellness in some really authentic, substantial ways. We're going to be at the forefront of this trend to get people to start talking about their financial health in some very authentic, substantial ways and not just talk about it, do something about it. That's the most important piece. You can look at the media around mental health, identifying the problem. We're talking about mental health and we're identifying solutions, natural solutions. So this gives us the opportunity to do the same exact thing for money, not just talk about the fact that it stresses us out, but now to talk about ways to solve that stress so that we can feel better from a financial standpoint, from a, from a, from a psychological standpoint, from a physical standpoint. So, you know, it, it, it's not a good situation in the wide world. There are a lot of trends that are leading us to people trying to identify new solutions to take us to a brighter future. And then you look at our foundation. You look at what we've built over the last four years around these concepts. And you can see that Amari is honestly the only game in town if you want to bring all these pieces together. We have oodles of scientific presentations around our gut brain axis solutions. We've presented in front of in front of psychologists and psychiatrists. We've pre presented in front of molecular biologists. We're presented in front of sports medicine people. We're presented in front of gut brain access experts. And we're pre pre presented in front of policymakers, right? We've really covered the basis in terms of making sure that our message is scientifically sound, not just for fundamentals, but for all of the products and all of the processes that we have in our, in our entire universe. We're looking at fundamentals, we're looking at kids' mood, we're looking at a, a Project B3 and Meant to Heart and et cetera, et cetera. We've really covered the basis in terms of coming at this from a very scientifically validated perspective. But that isn't the only perspective that's out there. Some people get really geeked about the science like I do, but the thing that's really different about this science is that people can feel it. Whether you understand the science or whether you care about the science, the fact that we can say to somebody, try this product, you'll feel better and you'll feel better in, an, in enough of a magnitude that you're going to notice it, that it's going to change how you show up in your everyday life, that's important because that makes the story very, very simple. It has a scientific basis so that we know that it's true and we can prove it, but people can just feel it and they can go on with their life at a higher level. They can show up, they can level themselves up and they can, and they can go to a higher level of performance. We've done that with our, with our peer reviewed scientific publications, right? So these are journal articles where we have done the science, we've presented it at scientific conferences, we've published it in peer-reviewed scientific journals. That's what people want to see, at least to know that when they hear something like, did you know that what happens in your gut can change what happens in your brain? And they go, that doesn't sound right to me. That sounds like science fiction. We can say, no, 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 it's actually really good science. And it's not just Amari doing that science, it's laboratories all around the globe that are putting out papers every single day where we see things like this. I can't even keep up with the science because it is just more and more and more and we are in the right place at the right time. So much so that the, that the, the solutions that we're bringing to, 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 to bear using this science 
has won awards all across the industry, awards about our gut brain access systems, awards about our herbal mood support, awards about the, the, the entire company being on the cutting edge of something that didn't even exist a few short years ago. And the fact that we're, 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 we're creating an entire new category around these particular areas that didn't exist before. And we're, and we're protecting all of this, right? It's one thing to do the science because it's cool. It's another thing to do the science to, to support the, you know, the new things that you're doing so that people will grab onto them and use them. It's another thing to do the science in a way that supports intellectual property. And if we can protect that intellectual property, that's good for the future of Amari, but it's also good for the future of your individual businesses. So the fact that you can build a business that is unique, that can't be found someplace else, that can't be copied or knocked off by the competition because they're coming. I'll tell you this, we got a four year head start on everybody else because we saw something that other people didn't see and we built an infrastructure structure around that, but other companies are coming. Other direct sales companies, pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies. This is the next big thing, bar none, in all of health, all of medicine, all of science. And we've built a business opportunity around it so that, so that average people can take advantage of this to improve themselves, to improve other people, but also to improve their bottom line going forward. We wanted to make sure that we could protect that for you. And we have done that globally with a patent portfolio that expands around the entire world. So that's, that's important. It covers all of our products. It covers the way we do our products. And so that, that brings us to the future, right? We, it's, 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 a, it's a disaster out there for a lot of people. We have some really good solutions to take people to a better place. And we've done a pretty darn good job of that over these four years. And you saw some of that from Kent Wood, where he talked about our our sort of financial picture and our and our and our and our business success but what does the future look like so from my perspective as the product guy our product future looks amazing in our pipeline are about a dozen major initiatives that are going to keep us going on that cutting edge even though people are coming we're going to be one step or two steps or three steps ahead of them because of the things that we're working on now we're looking at things around metabolism and weight we're looking at more about the immune system we're looking at beauty and how the skin microbiome interacts with the rest to the systemic microbiome. We're looking at brain boosting to not just help you focus, but, but, but really take your brain and your creativity and your memory and your, and your power to another level. We're looking at anti-aging at the level of the microbiome. We're looking at sleep and stress and mood in ways that haven't even been thought of by other companies. So the pipeline looks really amazing for at least the next five or six years. But I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek about what's coming soon. And by soon, I mean really soon. And I'm going to leave that to Mike Brown to talk about in just a second. But we've got this. We've got something that we're calling Amari Edge. It's a really simple product that took a really long time to get really right. And this product, I think, is going to be a game changer in a lot of ways, right? We've got great science. We've got amazing testimonials. We've got life-changing stories about our product portfolio right now. This is one that is virtually immediately beneficial. It's a really unique combination of mango leaf, lychee fruit, and palm fruit in a cute little canister watermelon flavored powder that you mix up in four ounces and you shoot down and it improves your mood, your motivation and your metabolism like that. It really is something that when people take it, they go, wow. So when you look at the supplement facts panel, you're gonna notice it's sugar-free, it's no calories, it's all natural. It's really, really clean label, which is exactly what people want. Um, and when you look at the individual ingredients, you're going to see some really, really nice effects. Now, I'm not going to go through this in detail, but like we do in a lot of our products, we partner with branded ingredient companies because we want purity, we want potency, we want good research support, we want good sustainability, we want a good indigenous story uh, uh, in, in 
terms of the people that have been using these ingredients and how those people are treated in terms of harvesting and supplying these ingredients. So what you're looking at here is a really cool specific extract of the mango leaf that's been used traditionally in all the places in the tropics that grow mangoes to do some, to, I mean, to do brain tonics and, and mental focus and clarity and energy and things like that. When you can apply good modern scientific techniques to it, we've got seven clinical trials that show fast acting, experiential, that means you feel it right away, mental energy, physical energy, physical performance, all the things that you want. People are gonna look at this and say, well, could this be used as a, as a pre-workout? Yes. Could this be used in the morning to help you wake up and get ready for the day? Yes. Could this be used before you have to sit down and do your best creative work? Yes, all of those things, because how this natural ingredient has been not just grown, but how it's been extracted to really get your brain up to that next level. We combine that with a lychee extract called oligonol. This comes from Japan, and it's a really scientifically validated way of taking the polyphenols in lychee and oligomerizing them, putting them together in a, in a chain where they have high absorption. So this is something that can deliver because of the way that this is processed. It can give you good glucose and lipid control, right? So that's going to be good for, for sort of overall metabolism. But what you're going to notice is this, a, re a substantial noticeable reduction in visceral fat, aka belly fat. Imagine being able to have a product that gives you mental fitness immediately with a progressive loss of belly fat over time and a beauty effect all in the same product. And then we marry that with palm fruit bioactives, which we have in Menta Heart, and we know can give you a physical performance and the mental performance benefit. Why did we decide to add it here? Because what we've found is that the oligonol, the lychee fruit, has its own set of benefits. The zynamite, the, the mango leaf extract, has its own set of benefits. When we put them together with this synergizer in the form of palm fruit bioactives, we get something that not only increases BDNF levels, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, to get your brain to grow new neurons, we see a benefit also at the level of the microbiome. This is the linking agent that brings the body benefits and the mind benefits all together in a synergistic way that is exclusive to Amare. You will not find this blend of mango leaf, lychee fruit, palm fruit, anywhere else in the world. And it's the blend that is the secret. This does good stuff, this does good stuff, this does good stuff, but we've done the background research to show true synergy between these ingredients. And that's the secret sauce. That's where the magic happens. And that magic, looks like this, motivation, metabolism, and mood all in the same product. And I think what we're gonna see with this is not only that this is gonna be a product that people are gonna love, but this is gonna be a product that you're able to build a substantial business around easily because it's easy to explain, it's easy to understand, it's clean label, it's all natural, it's the right price point, it gives the benefits that people are looking for, it's something that people are going to use and use and use and talk about, and it's it really is going to help us explode the Amari business. Because, you know, to be honest, people come into, into Amari thinking that they want to help people. People come into Amari thinking that they want to build a business. What if you could build a substantial business about helping people, right? That is something that I think resonates with a lot of people on a lot of different levels, even more so today in 2021 than when we started four years ago. The future is really, really bright here. We've been working hard to make sure that we're, we're doing the right things, that we're building the right foundation, that, we're, that we have the right future set up. You know, Hip, Hip said it in his comments that, you know, Amari is here for the long term, right? It, it, it's, it, it's not about Sean, it's not about Hip, it's not about Kent. It's not about Mike, who you're going to hear from in a second. It's not about any individual. It's about all of us collectively. And it's about all the millions of people who have never heard of us before that we're going to bring in because this is exactly what they've been looking for. They just don't know about us yet. So go out there and talk to them. Let them, let them know that we're here. Let them know what we're doing.
Thanks, you guys. Dude, that is so gosh, that is so awesome, man. Thank you so much. I was I was praying because my there was a couple of times where you skipped and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, because I, I I'm not available for the backup on this. <laughs> that, that was crazy good, so exciting. I know in working with you over the last you know, number of months, really, Sean, that you've tried to put this thing together. Um, the excitement, genuine excitement that you have for this as an answer to such a big area of need um, was, was really fun to watch. And I know you had a great time putting the whole thing together, didn't you? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I had a really good time putting it together because it's like, you know, I, I love doing the mad scientist thing, right, of, of, of literally, you know, putting this and seeing how this works and then putting something else together and seeing if it works any better or if it works worse and like that sort of putting the concoctions together. I'll tell you what, you know, where, where the excitement got real for me is when I finally got to the place where I thought it was ready and I was talking to Hip about it and he's like, oh, yeah, could you send me some? And I kind of went, gulp. Uh, sure. And I sent him some and I waited a few days because now you got to ship it and they got to have to get it and he has to try it. And, you know, it, when he posted on social media about how it just was amazing and my phone's buzzing and, and, you know, everyone's finally like, what is that that hips using? What, is, what, what, what is that? And when is it coming? And when can I try some? That's when it gets real. And then it gets even more real when we get the whole team together and say, okay, What's it going to look like? How are we going to package it? How are we going to price it? When's it going to come out? You know, all that kind of stuff. And that's, it's going to get real pretty soon. I can see in the yeah. chat room, people are going, when are we getting it? Yeah. That's yeah. what Mike but Brown's going to unveil to everybody. Yeah. The, the, the next, the next speaker is going to have to answer to that. Right. I mean, we're, we would, we would set it up this way that we would have an expectation that Mike would give the benefits uh, and the, and the answers to those questions. I will just tell you this, but um you, you are a rock star in the lives of so many of us. Uh, just because your ability to communicate a difficult message and things, we can relate to you. We, we feel your passion and your commitment to this and stuff. And, um, <laughs> and I was, I'm, you know, checking in. My phone's blowing up and everything. And my daughter hits me and I said, and she goes, he is so good. I would just like to be his friend. You know, he is my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, she is your friend. I know. But I, I was like, well, I'm like, that's from my daughter. And I'm like, hey, hey. As how, how, how am I doing? You know, how am I, how am I doing? <laughs> and she hits me back. She goes, I thought you were going to shave. So I'm like, really? <laughs> Seriously? All right. Anyway, Hey, you are the best. You're awesome. And uh, we appreciate you so much. We're excited about it. It's going to be, listen, the trajectory of this thing, we're going to need this thing. If we're going to hit 71%, 214% enrollments and things like that.